Hey guys, I'm Sadish and this is part 4 of the basic website designing series of video tutorials and in this section we'll see how to set the background color of a web page and also to change the color of the contents in the web page that is font color. So this is what we did on the previous tutorial. Uh, we got two paragraphs here and also a heading of h1 size and we got a page title. This is what we did on the previous tutorial. So now we'll see how to set the background for this web page. Okay? So here in the basic web folder I'm going to open this file in notepad and you can see here uh, the contents here, the two paragraphs and the heading are written inside the body tag. That's because this area is considered as the body of a web page so all the contents that come inside the body of this web page should be enclosed within the HTML tag called body I mean body is the HTML tag we use to enclose the contents in a web page so if we want to set the background color for this web page all we got to do is to use the parameter for setting the background color right in the body tag because body tag holds uh, all the contents for a web page uh, we got to set the parameter for background color right in the body tag so we'll see how to do that now here in the body tag I'm going to add a parameter called style equal to background then colon and we need to give a color value so I'm going to give here as gray that's the name of our color I'll save this file now and I'll open this in a web browser and you can see here we got gray color set as a background color for our web page here but the most preferred way of setting the background color for web pages are done using color values instead of giving the exact color I mean we had to change this color gray with the corresponding uh, color value for web so you'll see how to do that now. I'm going to do a Google search. Uh, I'm going to type here as HTML color values. And okay, we got a W3 school here. And you can see here they give some color here for gray uh, we can't call this as a gray but something similar this is silver I guess I'll copy this now and here I'll replace gray with the color value we'll save this one now and we'll refresh the page here you can see here this is silver I guess so this is how we set the color values for our HTML web page. I'll show you again. Uh, here this area is considered as the body of a web page. So if we want to set the color, background color for this body, we got to do that inside the body tag. And the parameter is style equal to background, then colon color value. Okay. So now we'll see how to set the font color I mean the contents uh, we got to change the color of the contents paragraphs here in the web page we'll see how to do that now for that we use parameter called a uh, tag called font color say I want to change the color for only these two paragraphs and not for this one I want this basic web to remain as black itself but I want to change these two paragraphs color to white so we'll see how to do that so right after the heading we got to change the color for these two paragraphs right so just before the start of the first paragraph I'm going to give a tag called font with a parameter color equal to uh, we got to give a color value I'm going to give color for white so here we got a color value for white here I'll copy this one now and paste here Okay, I'll close this tag now and after the end of these two paragraphs we need to close the font tag 
I'll save this one now and here we'll refresh this page and you can see here both these paragraphs are white now and that is made possible because we used font with a parameter called color so with the, uh, we want the uh, color to be changed only for the first paragraph all we need to do is to bring them here the font tag should be closed with that paragraph itself so here we can see now this applies only to the first paragraph but here we got to we need our requirement is to change the color for the entire web page so I'm going to bring this font at the bottom okay so this is how we create I mean this is how we uh, set the background color and also the font color for a web page you can see here uh, the background color is set within the body tag using the method style equal to background colon color value and for setting the color for fonts I mean for the contents of web page we use we got to use the font tag right font space color equal to color value and we got to close the font tag here that's all and on the next tutorial we'll see how to create links between our web pages okay if you guys like my videos and if you find them useful please subscribe I'll see you guys.